So the part that I feel like I have to mention is this. Um, while this guy was going off on me, I felt this ugly, I'm going to describe it the best way I can. I felt this like thing come over my shoulder and started going across my heart, like covering my heart. It was like a blob shape. I just felt it coming over like this and I started to get angry like myself. Like I started to get these thoughts and I was like, yo, if it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Carolina. Today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial and then I wanna talk about something that's important to me. I'm starting off with my talk, 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 talk. See, I haven't done makeup in a really long time, so I kind of like forgot. And then um, this is Tatcha. This is the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna put some on my eyes just to prime my eyes. Uh, I usually just jump right into my tutorials and I use my makeup from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I wanted to, or wherever I got them from, but I'll tell you guys where I got it from and all that. The Bare Minerals, uh, this is a, um, the blender brush and I got this for $2.99 at Marshalls. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. The first product I'm gonna be going in with is this eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown. This is in Toast. I got this for $10 at Marshalls. Just, it's a beautiful brown shade. I'm just gonna go in with the, this. So I wanna talk about spiritual warfare. Um, it's something that I feel like has to be talked about. Um, enough people don't talk about it because enough people don't know about it. Like, how can you talk about a subject that you don't know about? So I'm just gonna go in and do my my thing and I'm just gonna talk. Uh, so for those, okay, really quickly, I have to address this. So I went ahead and posted a video and I had tagged, I'm gonna butcher her name, but her first name is Kim. <laughs> and she does YouTube videos as, and um, like TJ Maxx and Marshall's videos as well. And she talked about safety. Now, I had mentioned what had happened to me at the beginning of the month. Right now it's the end of May. And this happened at the beginning of May. Um, now I, had a, I, I deleted the video and reposted it and just left the TJ Maxx part, like the come shopping with me. And then I'm addressing the other part in this video. Um, I, I had it, like I prayed about it and I had a feeling that I was supposed to separate them. So I'm doing that now. Um, so I separated them and I'm just gonna talk about what happened with the guy at TJ Maxx. So I was in line and I was actually buying this brush right here. I was buying this brush this brush and i think i was buying this lippy which i love and adore this is from b by biana and i love i love this um and i've played with it a few times but like i was buying that and and i was also like filming and stuff like that but um the guy was behind me and um the guy took down his mask and was like touching his nose and like was doing all this stuff and uh store policy is to have your mask completely covering like this it doesn't like it doesn't matter tj maxx that's what their, their rules are um i mentioned to the guy very i'm if you guys meet me in real life i am the same on camera as i am in person i am the same and um i just told the guy i was like excuse i was like excuse me sir can you please cover your uh, can you and i said excuse me sir can you please pull up your mask. And I did the hand motion of pulling up his mask and he got upset with me. Started cursing me out like immediately. Now, if you don't know this, um, if you don't know this, cursing somebody out, like that's verbal abuse, that's a misdemeanor, especially in Maryland. If you don't know, now you know, it's a misdemeanor. And I was like, mm, dude, chill, <laughs> you know, like I just asked you to pull up your mask and it's store policy and no, I don't work here, but like you're close to me. And if, I never mentioned this in the video, like if he was far away, I wouldn't have said anything, but he was right behind me. It doesn't matter where you are, bad things are gonna happen because the devil's out and about looking at who he can take with him to hell. Like he really is. For my lid, I went in with this color right here. This is the Smashbox Nudie Pick Deep Trio set, um, little set. And then for my outer corner, I'm just going in with the pencil brush from Sephora and I'm dipping in these two colors. Just wanna mention it before I keep going. So long story short, this guy was going off on me and um, I glanced, I like looked throughout the room. There was no managers, there were no employees. The cashiers are like an L, like L-shaped, L-shaped. And one and two go here, going all the way up. Eight and nine are over here. The exit is over here. Okay, I'm here. 
and so is this guy like we're right here so we have to go all the way down come up like that and come up it's lunchtime there's no manager there's no employees just eight and nine open this guy's going off on me and so i'm like i start to feel this thing come over my heart and i felt like i was about to go off on him because like the first time the first thing that popped in my head was like who raised you like why are you acting this way like jeez and um so i like i had to control myself but as soon as like i started to feel that these dark thoughts popped in my head and i was like all right it's, it's about to go down like this guy this guy's like really going off on me and I'm, like i gotta defend myself like i went into survival mode so um i like before before this this thing took over my heart because I felt it taking about to take over my heart. Before it completely covered my heart, I thought about Jesus Christ. And I felt, I just, in my heart, I was just like, Jesus, like Jesus Christ. And I just thought about him and that feeling went completely away. Like it was like somebody went like that, like chugged it. And the words that came across it, like my eyes, like I, I've only seen this once before. Let me just keep talking and moving because I feel like I get distracted. I'm, I'm mainly focused on the eye look, but I will also do complexion. I went in with the Youth Quake from Marc Jacobs. I got this for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. And for primer, I am going in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I got this for, I believe, $10. $6.99 at Marshalls. So definitely wanted to mention this guy right here. So this guy that I was mentioning, um, if you don't know, verbal assault in Maryland is a misdemeanor. And if you have a record, it could be one year imprisonment. Now you're supposed to tell the person to stop when they are cursing at you or you know verbally abusing you. You're supposed to tell them to stop and if they don't stop, then you can press charges. I was telling this, um, so while this these feelings are happening and all these things are happening, I focus on Jesus Christ. That's what I always try to do. I try my hardest to focus on him. In the storm, in the good times, I always, whatever, I just try to focus on him. And I'm just putting this primer like right here, just a little bit, like just a tiny bit. And I'm being gentle around this area. And then I'm about to go in with uh, a new brush that I got at TJ Maxx. I got this for $14.99. Uh, this is the Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation Brush. I'm going in with this brush today, and I'm also going to be trying the Kat Von D uh, foundation. So I just need to take this out and clean it off. I always recommend cleaning off your brushes. If you guys are curious, I'll show you guys what I use. Before I forget, this brush, it looks like it's dirty. It's not dirty, but it's just, um, there's glue on here. But the, it just looks, like you, you could tell that it looks dirty. Like this is a clean brush right here. It looks dirty, but it's just how the bristles are. So just, just so you guys know. Um, but I wanted to mention that. And then I also wanted to mention, this is what I use to clean off my brushes. This is the makeup brush cleanser from Cinema Secrets. You can get the mini one. I personally love the big jumbo one. And I get that on Sephora's website. Um, usually when there's a sale um, and I just refill my little one, because this is the one I use for traveling or when I'm doing rides I don't take my big one I take my little my little mini one to clean off my brushes and I just do that put it a little bit on the on a paper towel and I just do that I'm gonna color correct before going into the foundation this is the Smashbox look less tire correcting stick and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and right here and then a little bit here and here mm, and that's it my skin has been behaving well, so I'm just going to leave it alone as it is. And then I'm just going to tap this out with my finger. For foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D Lock It In Foundation. I'm going in with the shade Medium 52.5 Neutral. And I got this for $12.99 at, at Marshalls. So sorry. I saw my cousin wearing this foundation and her skin looked flawless, but I wasn't going to spend $40 on a foundation. So when I found it for $13, I was like, give it to me. <laughs> So I'm gonna see how these two work out together and the, the skincare combo that I did. Going in with the Sigma F61 brush, I got this for $10 at TJ Maxx. I actually got it on the day of that this happened. I'm telling you guys the story. This is the brush right here. For cream contour today, I'm going in with Tarte 
I'm just gonna put a little bit right up here, see how this, how I feel about this brush. I'm just gonna place it down just like that. And then I'll come back and play with it. Like, see how, hmm, I don't know yet. I have to like play with it, you know? And then I usually like to do this and then hit it like that. So yeah, this guy started going off on me. And um, I saw the words pop up in front of my eyes like this. And it was, um, I literally saw, bless those that curse you. So I was immediately filled with joy and I turn around and I tell him, God bless you. I hope you have a nice weekend. Um, and he just starts going off even more the minute I say God. And he starts going on and on and on. And I'm like, all right. And then in that moment, like, I'm like, you know, Jesus, what do I do? Because this guy's going off on me. And like, he, like he's like not calming down over asking him about a mask. It's ridiculous. To blend out my cream contour, I'm going in with a 72 brush from Sephora. I got this at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They've been popping up throughout the area. Recently started popping up throughout the area again. And so that's exciting. I hope you guys find your brushes, whatever you're looking for. I love this brush. I definitely recommend this one. So the scripture that this comes to is Luke 6, 27 and 28. It says, 27 says, but I say unto you, which here, love your enemies, do good to those which hate you. 28 says, bless those that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you. So the, what I saw before my eyes were the words, bless those that curse you. So I did, I just blessed him and I went and I was like, all right, but this dude just kept going. So I couldn't believe what, like the next words that came out of my mouth, but they just did. And I was like, because he wasn't like calming down and I saw the situation that I was in and I was like, people may not believe me, whatever the case may be. And I read the room, I read his energy, it was off. His mom was sitting there laughing. That was what? But anyways, this brush blends out so nicely blends out the cream contour so nicely. So I told the guy flat out, I was like, if you threaten me, I'm going to start recording. And he didn't care. He was like, I don't care, this and that. And like, so I had to make sure that his mom saw that I wasn't playing. Like she saw the camera and then she told him to relax and he got upset. And then like, I, they let me go. Like they stayed, they, they held, his mom held up the line until I left. Um, and when I was leaving, I was on register eight, he was on register nine. And when I was leaving, I said, God bless you. Like I say to everybody when I'm leaving um, and especially essential workers, cause they're the ones out there, you know, in this. So he thought I was talking to him, which I wasn't. And he was like, she still added this and that. And I was like, I'm talking to the cashier, but yeah, it goes for you too. Like God bless you too, dude. And then he got up so, he got so upset. Um, but yeah, spiritual warfare. If you guys don't know, this is a real thing. Like Satan, Lucifer, he be out here. I'm gonna try, I don't know if I'm gonna try this out yet. This is Blendy Avocado. It says the Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty. I got this for $7.99 at Marshalls in the shade Fair. So just wanted to mention that. I'm gonna go in with this and try it out. See, hopefully I don't mess this look up. Hope. Oh no, it's okay. It's a good. It's a good shade. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit here, a little bit. If you look up the like the law, it says um, give them a warning. Like you have to tell them to stop, and if they don't stop, then you can press charges. I wasn't gonna sit there and press. I wasn't trying to do all that. I was just like when he left, he had his like when he went up to the register, he had his mask on. So I was I don't understand what the big deal was. Like you're about to leave, dude. Like just follow the rules. Um, some people feel like they, they the, the rules don't apply to them and. You know, you learn the hard way. Um, like you guys, I'm not running. I didn't wake up that morning thinking I'm gonna go sit there and fight with somebody in DJ Max. I didn't even know it was gonna go to DJ Max. Understand? Like I was just like, I'm gonna go. Like I was close by, and I was like, I'm gonna pop in there. Um, but if you guys didn't know, like, so uh, spiritual warfare is a real thing. Uh, I've had so I have so many stories. Uh, it's ridiculous. I personally like to grab my foundation brush and blend the concealer and foundation into each other. This is a trick I like to do. This brush is from NARS. I can't say this name. Yeah, Yaki. Yaki Kupi, I guess it. Yakio Kabuki brush. Okay, so that's the Kabuki brush from NARS. This is a dupe that I got from, 
AliExpress. I bought this from AliExpress years ago and I was like, I'm not gonna pay full price and I paid, I think, $3. <laughs> Um, it's super old as you can see it's done the color starting to wear down and this is how it came now This is the brush You could totally see the difference like you can see the difference in regards to height You can see the difference in regards to the barrel like how it's wrapped This is tightly wrapped. This is more loose and the bristles on this brush is much tighter than this one so um, I know a couple of you wanted to see a comparison side by side Aliexpress TJ Maxx or, um, original NARS brush. Before I forget, I am gonna set my under eye because I have that concealer. And it doesn't look like it needs creasing, but I'm still gonna set it. I'm going in with a brush and I'm dipping in to this color right here. And I'm just gonna put some, like sweep it under because this shade is light enough for me to put under my eye. For bronzer, I'm just going in with that same bronzer from that Hourglass mini palette. Just gonna dip some right there and then i'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead see how that goes see how this performs i don't know how this brush will perform compared i know how the other one performs it performs well i have no complaints i will admit these bristles are much softer compared to the one from aliexpress that one is like a little rough so i would recommend the one from NARS because it's so much nicer and softer like it's so soft on the skin I could feel the difference definitely feel the difference so yeah this one is, is way worth it's worth the money compared to the Aliexpress one I'm just using the same palette that I used for everything else on my face I'm just putting blush I like to put blush on my forehead and then go with the same brush and swirl in motion motion in place just to give it like a sun-kissed look for my brows today, I'm just going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the shade Diesel. I picked this up at, I have no other brow products in, just wanted to mention that. Um, I picked this up at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, $6. That's what I remember paying. Going in with the shade Naked from Laura Mercier, I'm just lining my lips. Now for my lippy today, I'm going in with the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick and running for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. This is in the shade Teddy 2.0. I have been looking for this shade. And this is in the Powder Kiss Lipstick. I went to the, the MAC counter and they didn't have this shade along with some other shades. So I was able to pick it up to, um, the other day when I went to the store. Such a beautiful shade. Like, isn't this gorgeous? You guys, this is gorgeous. Such a beautiful shade, I can't wait. Oh, it feels like butter. That is a really pretty color, stunning. Everything that I used on my face today, I will link it down below. Uh, I just wanted to blend out my nose really quickly and then see what else may be missing. I think highlight is the only thing that's missing and then I have to finish off my eyes. And then do lashes, totally forgot about lashes. Going in with a Pro Fan brush from Sephora. I got this for $3.99 at Marshalls. I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. Such a beautiful little, little brush. Look at that. Amazing. This brush is amazing. I'm just gonna put it straight down like this like straight in on its tip as you guys can see what i'm doing i'm just putting a little bit on the bridge skipping this part and just doing the button so like that and then like that that is like glazed donuts <laughs> I need to blend this out a little bit. So I'm turning it on its side and I'm kind of like doing um, this motion here just to blend out the two. For lashes today, I'm going in with the Gata Beauty Lashes in the style A5. These are going for $3.99. I got these at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna trim them and put them on my eye. Off camera, I finished off my eyes and I wanted to put a little bit of hourglass just like right here because I did put a little bit of extra powder under there so I just wanted to like clean it up my son is in here so cute 
Oh, so I wanted to mention to you guys about spiritual warfare. Like, I've been talking to my son, who's actually here. Ooh. I've been talking to him about that just because it's important for everyone to know about it. And um, my son, he had an experience uh, the other day. Like, I heard somebody... Okay, so I closed my Bible, like, around 2 or 3 a.m. And I shut my eyes just for a little bit. And I was laying like this. And I heard somebody come and speak into my ear. It was so clear that I woke up my, like I woke up, I opened my eyes and I started to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, and then immediately after I closed my eyes, my son started to tell me, mommy, I don't feel good, this and that, because he sleeps, his bed is right next to my bed. So I got up immediately and I went to the bathroom with him because I thought that's what he needed to do was to use the bathroom. And then when he laid back in his bed, he was like, mommy, I don't feel good. Like, can I sleep with you? So I was like, yeah, sure, dude. Like, you can, come on, baby. Like, you can sleep with me. And as he slept with me, like when he got in the bed with me, he was like, mommy, I felt something in my bed. And I looked over at his bed and I could see something like over his head, like where his pillow was. And I was like, yeah, just come sleep with me because I know, like, I know I'm constantly under attack. Like once you choose Jesus, you're constantly under attack because Satan wants to take everybody, like everybody he can down to hell with him. So, um... Things that I do to help me in my journey of my spiritual journey is praying to God, our Heavenly Father. I pray, I fast, I read my scriptures, I um, I help people, I pray for people that I don't like so I can like them. Um, I constantly am trying to look for ways to be like Jesus Christ. And like I just I just have to mention it to you guys like how much how important it is to get close to God while you still can. I'm gonna go in with the Mac Fix Plus in Gold Debt. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit. I got this at Marshalls. Can't remember exactly how much I paid. It has like a little thing in here that makes that noise. And I'm gonna spray my face. I got this fan at the dollar store, so I'm just gonna fan off. I really enjoy how this look came out. And I wanted to just finish off with the spiritual warfare conversation that I'm trying to have with you guys. Um, I just want you guys to know that your spirits are very, very important. And it's the only thing that you take with you once you pass on to the next life. Um, what I mean by that is when you, when you pass from this world into the next world, which is like the spirit world. That's where our spirits go, is the spirit world. Um, either you go to paradise or you go to prison. And um, it's all based off how you lived your life here on earth. I I'm, I try my hardest to be a saint. It is not easy. It is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life to put my own wants and needs um, or wants, not needs, but wants um, to the side and accept God, what he wants for me. Because straight up, I wanted to go off on that dude because um, he was being so disrespectful. And all I did was just ask him to cover his, to cover his, you know, cover himself. Like, that was it. And, like, in that moment, I was like, wow, like, spiritual warfare is a real thing. And I'm so grateful for our Heavenly Father who helped me out in that very moment. And, he, and I know he's always with me as long as I'm doing good. Like, well, he's always with me. He doesn't forget about me. Even if, like, I strayed away, he would come looking for me like the way a shepherd looks for a lost sheep. He just does that. And, like, one time I was on my way to Walmart and I was crying my eyes out. And I was like, God, I don't feel like you hear me. I don't feel like you hear me, this and that. Like, where are you? And I went to Walmart, I went to like go buy some nails and like I was in the beauty section. I saw this woman pass by and I didn't think much of her, but then I saw her again towards the end when I was checking out and she was staring at me and I'm like, that's just weird. Um, and I was just like, whatever. And then I'm next in line to pay for my stuff. And when I'm next, she comes and she taps me and she gives me um, our daily bread, like this little pamphlet, I love it. And she says to me, God loves you and he wants you to have this. And I was so blown away because this lady did not know that I was in the car crying, like on my way there. So yes, God sends angels to help you. And um, 
I'm very grateful for that woman. And I'm grateful that she listened to the Holy Spirit. And in regards to like what happened with my son, like, like so that had happened with him. And then the next day I was telling him about spiritual warfare. I was telling him how important it is to him to learn about Jesus Christ as much as he can before he's of age, before he knows, like before he's held accountable, like you're held accountable at the age of eight. Like if you're, you know, um, like to know between right and wrong by that age, you do know, unless you're like mentally handicapped or whatever, then, you know, you, you fall into a different category. Um, what I mean by that is like, like someone who's mentally disabled, like they wouldn't be able to distinguish between right and wrong. So God is merciful upon them. I just wanted to like share with you guys my experience that I had at TJ Maxx. It was, um, it's not funny. It's really uh, like this guy really went off and I was just like, he really had a demon with him because as soon as I said God, he just, and I was like, I'm gonna pray for, and like I saw it as a great opportunity to pray for this guy. And I don't know him, I don't know his name, but I pray for him. And I really hope Jesus Christ can enter his heart one day. I really do, because he saves souls. And like the scriptures say, you choose that you choose life or you choose death. I'ma choose life because I don't want to go to hell. I don't I don't want to be packed with a bunch of people forever being tortured. Like that's just not my thing. So I speak up so you guys can look into it. And if you guys want me to do more videos like this where I talk about Jesus Christ and um, the, the spiritual experiences that I've had, I have had dreams with demons. I've had dreams with the Jenner and Kardashians. I, I can talk to you guys about that. Um, I have had so many spiritual experiences and I've been having dreams since I was 11. And I, I would love to share that with you guys if you're interested. If not, then I'll keep them to myself. Um, but I truly want to share with you guys and help um, because I know that there's somebody out there who is struggling. And like, I'm going to leave this video with these thoughts like really quickly. So um, I have been gone off camera for the past couple months and I've just been really busy. And, you know, with school and all that, like with my children, I'm just busy. Um, so, and the, the built, the room was being built and all that, but to make the long story short, uh, my dad had to fly out to El Salvador in April and trying to get him on the plane was like such a headache because of the whole coronavirus testing. And on the second time I went to go drop, was it the second time? The first time I went to go drop him off, um, I got a, I was, as soon as I left the airport, I felt something was like hitting my seat trying to get my attention and i just kept driving and i was like yo that's probably saying trying to mess with me right now because it's like two in the morning and so i was like i'm gonna blast jesus christ like gospel music all the way home and i was like and if he sees me he's gonna see like this little you know mario kart that just got a star like that's what he's gonna see he's you know he's gonna be so annoyed with me because i'm over here blasting gospel music but I was just like, this is just my weapon. Prayer is my weapon. Fasting is my weapon. Music is my weapon. My eyes, like the things that I see, I cannot watch rated R movies. I watched Deadpool one time with my brother and sister and I had a feeling not to watch it. I couldn't feel the Holy Ghost for two weeks. I will. The only rated R movie that I will watch is Passion of the Christ. That is it. Cause And even then, like when those like gruesome scenes come up I'm just I can't look at that I'm like no I'm like I'm like like I can't because it's just too much for my soul to to understand that that happened to our savior you know and um I've been doing research non-stop because after that happened with my dad like I had turned around I was so close to my house I was probably like 10 minutes 15 minutes from my house and the airport's like an hour from my house. So I had like turned, um, I got a call from my dad when I was so close to my house. So I had to turn around. He was like, they're not letting me go on, like board. So I had to turn around, go back and pick him up. And when I had done the U-turn back to get back on the highway, I had prayed and I asked God and I said, um, why, why is this happening? Like, why are we having so many problems? And he said, and all I heard was protection, the word protection. 
And I said, okay, because I'm thinking, you know, maybe something's gonna happen on the airplane or whatever. So I just turned around, picked up my dad, brought him home. home. But as soon as I made that turn, those feelings of the seat, like being pushed and all that went away. So I was like, okay, I'm not tripping. I know what I heard. I know what I was feeling. And I was like, I've never felt that in my car. My car, I've had my car since 06, 06. My car is in 06. Yeah, so I've had my car since 09. I've had that thing forever and I've never felt that ever in my in my car. So I was like, wow, like this, this is real. And then um, that was on a Monday like Monday, like at 3 a.m. And I got home like at four and I wrote it down in my journal because I was like, this is important. And then um, my husband actually took off on Monday so I could sleep in because I'm taking my dad and everything. He's so sweet. And um, he's never off on Mondays. He's a manager, so he can't really be off on Mondays like that. But that day he was. And I kid you not, guys, I'm gonna start crying. An accident happened at my husband's work and an employee drove a car and hit a pillar and broke like the pillar felt like fell and the manager that was on duty jumped out the way like my husband said it would look like the movies like the way that he like jumped out the way and he hit the pillar and um, the, the, the manager that was on duty um, was in my husband's position He was, he was second in charge. So he had to do my husband's position because my husband was off. So I just want to say, I'm so grateful for God for what he did for me and my family. He spared my husband. I, I know God is real and I know Jesus Christ is real. And I know Satan wants to destroy families. Like I know this. And I will leave you with my testimony of that when so that was back in april in march end of march or like sometime in march there was a day that me and my husband were not getting along and that happens it happens it's normal um but this day we were not getting along and um at night i remember i was crying and he was upset <clears throat> and he told me he was like i i am I'm hearing these thoughts about you that I know they're not true. And I'm like, well, what are they? Cause I'm like, tell me. <laughs> and he's like, um, he's like, no, because I know they're not true. And I was like, okay. And then we kind of like just turned off the lights and we switched the conversation and we just started talking about other things. And when this happened, I know my mom's probably not gonna like the fact that I'm talking about this, <laughs> but this is so important. Like somebody out there, somebody watching this video needs to know this information. So I'm doing this for you um, because God has asked me to do this. So I'm, I'm doing this for you. So I was sitting there and the way our, our living area is set up, I'm, so I'm on the couch sitting and my husband's next to me and our TV is like right there. And the, um, the light from, <clears throat> so we turned off the lights, but the only light that was on was the light from, uh, the Wi-Fi box, okay? And that was the only light that was in the room. But in like, when we turned off all the lights, I saw that there was a portion of the room that was really, really dark, like darker than all, everything else. It was just like radiating darkness. And I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm talking to my husband at that moment, but I'm just looking in that direction. And then all of a sudden I see somebody move like walking like I you know when somebody's walking and they use this like your arm is swinging I saw an arm swinging like like walking it just like kind of like walked away towards the hallway because that's where the hallway was and it was pitch black like a pitch black shadow and I didn't say anything when I first saw it I just kind of looked and I was like I'm not gonna give it attention I'm not gonna give it attention and then my husband was like, did you see that? And when he said that, I was like, so I had to start praying out loud at that point. And I was like, Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, like, I, we need you right now. And like, I, okay, confession. I had asked God to see hell. I know. I was like, I kind of want to see it. Um, I was like, just so I can understand how bad it is. I never, you know, I, I'm the type of person that I kind of need to know how bad it is for me not to do it. I just, that's just how I am. 
and he allowed me to see what I could handle because I know that I wouldn't be able to handle anything else because it just freaks me out. I know, I know, but like, that's just how I am. And I was, I just been doing my research and research and then I um, saw, I'll, I'll just talk about it in this video. So I saw a list of, I go, I YouTubed um, uh, types of demons. I don't know, I just had this feeling to do that. So I clicked on this one video. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. If you're interested, if not, then I'll just leave it out of it. Um, but I clicked on it and because the picture that was stop the picture that was on the thumbnail looked like one of the things that i saw in my dream like years ago and i've had two two different dreams with two of the nine i think it was nine in the video that they showed i saw a little girl with curly hair and she looked dead and in the dream i was furious because I jumped at my husband put pop <laughs> I jumped he put popsicles like in the cabinet <laughs> and I was furious and then I went to go wake him up in my dream like in my dream I went to go wake him up and then I looked over at the door and then I saw like I saw a little girl looking like this and she looked gray and she was like this and then she went back like that and when I saw that I was like whoa and then I just I will when I woke up I looked over at my door and my door is exactly the same way that it was in my dream so it like freaked me out and I was just like, I didn't know how to, like, what to think of it. I was just like, what is that? Because they don't teach you about that in church. And, I mean, they never taught me about that in church. I never heard anybody talking about that. And then, um, and then I remember when my son was a baby, the one that's under the desk, he was, uh, this was about, he's about to be six. So this was about, about almost six years ago. Like, like he was about five months when this happened. Um, don't move it, Papa. Uh... I had a dream that I went through these doors and I was walking in Jerusalem. I went through these like, you know, like the kitchen doors, like they just fling open and they have like circles at the top. It was like ratatouille, like one of those, you know, kitchen doors. Like it just went like this. And I went through these, I went through these doors and I was in Jerusalem and I looked to my left and I had been Googling these pictures. I'm like, where is this, this place that I saw? And I, I can only think of the South side of the temple because I have not physically been there, so I don't know. I can only go by the pictures because I I don't know. And so I'm, I jumped, I was walking through Jerusalem and I was looking to my left and there was these steps on the left and they were all like stones, like stone steps, like the way Jerusalem looks, right? And I'm walking and I see men like my age, a little bit older, but they're like dying. They look dead and they look like they were dying, like if they were asking for help, like on the floor, laying down, asking for help. And I was just walking, like looking and I was like, this is what's happening. And then I see Caiaphas. How I saw Caiaphas, I don't know, but I just did. OK, I saw Caiaphas, big, long beard, beard went down like to his like his navel, like his belly button. It was long and gray. He had like that, um, like that scarf thing that they wear. And it was white and had like two blue lines, like navy blue lines at the bottom. And I dreamt that he was coming down these stairs. Like I'm coming down this way and he's coming down the stairs. He has people following him. And there's a homeless, like he looked homeless. He was on the floor and he was like asking for help, like going like this. And Caiaphas was like arrogant, like, and he had like, he was radiating evil. Like I was terrified of him. And I was with my son, um, my oldest son at the time. And he was... I think like nine, eight or nine around that time, at that time with the, the dream. And, sorry, he's under. And I was walking and I see Caiaphas and I, in my dream, I had, I could tell I had my glasses on because whatever I had over my head, I had covered my head and then I put it like this. So all you could see was my eyes. And then I told my son, I was like, cover yourself. And then we turned this corner and we went down this alley and what stood out to me were that there were fire escapes on the building, like on the cement buildings. And I was like, I just didn't know that they had that. And I saw it the other day and I was like watching this documentary. I was like, they have those? Like I, I, I remember, it remind, reminded me of my dream. And then, um, and then I, uh, my son said, mommy, I'm scared. And so I, I grabbed him and I put him in front of me and I said, don't worry, Papa, I got you. And then I started to feel humping. And I was like, I pushed him, like not pushed him, I grabbed him and I looked at him like like this. I'm like, what are you doing? And I looked at him and it wasn't my son. It was like this gray looking boy. 
and he had great like gray eyes like white gray eyes and his face was gray he looked like like stone had turned to life okay and he was doing this thing and i pushed him back and i was like get off me because at first i was like what are you doing and then i looked and it wasn't my son and then um it wasn't looking straight at me it was looking like if i'm looking at you like this like if i'm facing you like this it was looking at me like this so i'm here and it's looking that way and i'm like trying to fight it off like in my dream i'm like pushing it off and then um i was like get off me <laughs> god forgive me in my dream this was years ago i said get off me you and i said the b word but i said the whole thing and when i said that it he was like this and then he turned and looked straight at my eyes and i woke up like when i woke up i was i was still in the position of fighting and i was like whoa that was so freaky so when i saw the video and i saw that like it reminded me of what i had seen in my dreams and i was like yo this stuff is real like this stuff is real real like more real than you and me because this life is just a test i can talk i don't want to always take too much of your time guys but like i really wanted to mention that and um i feel much better that i have told you guys and um like I, i'm just doing what the lord tells me to do and and if you guys are interested in like the Kylie Jenner, it's Kylie Jenner, uh, Chris, it's Bruce Jenner, but he was dressed as a woman. And uh, what's her face? Chloe Kardashian. If you guys are interested in that, I'll make a separate, I'll talk about that in a different tutorial. If not, then I'll just, whatever. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. And I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are safe. And if you guys have any questions about spiritual warfare, or if you guys want me to talk about other topics in other videos, I can do that. I just know that I can talk a lot about Jesus Christ, so I don't want to take too much of your time. And um, yeah, I just hope this helps. Have a good one, guys. Bye.